saber qué he hecho. I got the water boiling good here, rapidly. Let me put, put some salt. Put a few things to cut up and put in here. Uh, don't really need anything. I have a, let me get that piece off of there. I have a bag of Zatarin seasoning, which is gonna season it real, real, real well, but you know, being from Louisiana, you just don't boil shrimp without adding something to it. Um, even if you don't have all the stuff you need, we're going to add something. So, we have, uh, don't have any whole lemons, we have lemon juice. And again, most of the seeds, all the seeds are going to come out of here. Uh, the Zatarin's bag, let's go ahead and drop that in while I'm talking. This little Zatarin's bag. Let me tell you what's in here. It's enough to, to do, it says four pounds of shrimp or four pounds. I have one pound of shrimp today, a little over a pound. Uh, but what's in this bag, you can see that Zatarin's crawfish shrimp and, and crab oil. It's been around forever and ever. Uh, but what's in it is mustard seed, coriander seed, red pepper, red pepper, dill seed, bay leaf, and allspice. So it's it's got some season in there. We're gonna go ahead and let that boil rapidly for a while. Uh, spicy stuff. Oh, I have one more thing I wanted to put in. I had this left over from, from earlier and I had some, some garlic and some, some uh, shallots cut up. So we know, we know where to get rid of the leftover. We'll just use it for something else. Oh yeah. So what we're going to do on the shrimp, the shrimp is going to cook for one minute. We're going to let it boil. Hopefully it's going to stay boiling. We're going to let it cook for one minute either way. Then we're going to leave it in the water for another 15 minutes. I'll go ahead and remove it from the cooker. Um, and we'll leave it, leave it sit for about 15 minutes. And what that does is allow the, it allows the shrimp to soak up all of those flavors and spices that are, that were, came in a sack. I think we got a, maybe a pound's worth of spice coming out of that, coming out of that bag. Now let's go ahead and put these. And we have some really nice golf, wild caught golf brown shrimp. Pick these up and head on at HEB supermarket. Now, so let's go ahead and go ahead and do it like we did. Dump them in. that to boil as quick as we can. Come on baby, it's boiling. It's going. Holy moly, holy moly. Alright, we're boiling. We're boiling. babies like it says for a minute and then I'm going to have the timer set then we're going to turn them off and move them over here I don't think it makes any difference at this point the lid is going to cause them to boil heavier and uh, when I take them off I'll put the lid on There you go. There you go. Turn them off. I'm going to move them from the fire and just let them sit here in that boiling, 
in that boiling water. All right. Peel and eat shrimp. Look at these bad boys. Look at these bad boys. So that's how you do it, just a basic, a basic shrimp. You add a little bit of seasoning. You don't have to have that fancy bag or anything like that. A little salt, pepper, uh, a lemon, onion, um, a little coriander, something like that. Peel and eat. There you go, folks. Peel and eat shrimp. Success. Y'all hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell. Come back and see some more little videos here. Um, thanks for coming by, folks. Nice peony.